Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my forecast for the 1st of October. And uh, if you like to support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe, hit the bell button and the like button. And do also please share this video um, in order for this channel to grow. Uh, so we'll start off by looking at oil and as you can see we have rallied quite nicely um, in uh, WTI in the day's trading session. We are trading just underneath the 200 moving average and at this moment it looks like the 200 moving average is holding. If we were to break the 200 moving average we'll go all the way to the 50 moving average and we have seen this previously that the 50 moving average is quite significant re, uh, resistance. So if we uh, fall back from here, which I do expect us to do, uh, we will fall all the way to the to uh, to uh, these lows. Uh, if you look at at uh, we'll find resistance in this area here. And we'll find now we'll find support in this area here and we'll find resistance at the 50 moving average and uh, basically the entire area above. Um, the main reason why I say that we'll most likely won't go higher is it due to the world economy at the moment. There just isn't that demand for oil as it was prior to the coronavirus. And as most of the major world economies are um, are uh, showing signs of uh, lower growth, then this market will be significantly affected. So um, at this point, um, buying, uh, selling rallies is technically the, um, is probably the best strategy there is. Uh, I would not jump into this market at this moment because as you can see, we have broken through the 200 moving average several times. And what happens is that we get close to the 50 moving average before we turn around. Um, however, if we do break these lows, they will go significantly lower. We'll first of all go to $3,500, $35, not $3,500, uh, but $35. And then we also can look at the Fibonacci retracements. And we can see that the first uh, Fibonacci retracement is at, it's at $30. The 50 is at $25. And that is quite realistic in uh, in in a, probably a few months' time. I do expect us to go all the way down to the uh, to twenty five dollars. Um, there has to be some major change in the world economy, some major uh, event that has ha has to happen in order for this to break to the upside. Um, at this moment. As the situation is at this moment, this market will most likely go lower. We did try to uh, try a big pullback only a few weeks ago, and and I it's just a matter of time before we do that again. So if you look at the technical indicators, the 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 RSI, the technically every all around the place. RSI is pointed to higher levels, higher momentum, and uh, the stochastic is been pointed to a lower momentum, and the uh, MACD is technically just flat. We're not uh, at this point, uh, as I said, um, selling rallies is probably the best strategy here. Um, so if you look at natural gas, So natural gas got absolutely hammered yesterday. I think it f it fell around um, around eight percent yesterday. It is uh, rallying today, um, which is very common uh, when you have such a big uh, uh, drop. You can see, for example, here you have a massive drop, and then you basically uh, then you go back uh, back up. This may be. Uh, the closest that we get to the 50 moving average. If you consider the distance between these um, candlesticks and the 50 moving average and so on, is very similar to what we're seeing here. So this may basically be the uh, lowest that we get uh, before we go higher. If we were to break the 50 moving average, 
we have to see a red candlestick uh, underneath the 50 moving average, and then we'll you know, have the 200 moving average as support. Uh, resistance should be around uh, 284, uh, and after that, we will go all the way to um, 294 and, and beyond that. As long as the weather conditions in the United States are, um, um, are as they are at the moment, uh, where we have wildfires and uh, extreme temperatures uh, uh, across uh, uh, California and, uh, and Oregon and, and so on, and other states, uh, this market will go higher. It is, it, it is really affected when, when, when weather conditions become extreme. Uh, furthermore, we have this upwards trend line, which we got really close to. Basically, that is where we bounced. It's basically from this uh, support line here. So that is a good estimate to have, to have uh, when considering how low this market will go. Um, we have bounced once or almost four times from the from this uh, support line here. So if that breaks, 50 moving average is uh, is right underneath being support, and after that is the 200 moving average. Technical indicators are all over the place as well. The the RSI is uh, pointing upwards. The stochastic is pointing for lower momentum, uh, more lower momentum, and the MACD is also across the line and pointing to lower momentum. So we'll probably hang around this area for a few training days before going higher. Something similar to this, just chopping up and then have an explosive candle. We saw it similar here and so on. So I'm not seller in the market. There are a lot of things has to have to change, especially the weather conditions in the United States before I start uh, selling in this market. So if you look at copper, so copper has rallied, as I said yesterday, and the 50 moving average has proven to be uh, very, very supportive. And um, as long as we don't break through the 50 moving average, then we only have one other way to go, and that is to the upside. However, I don't expect us to break through uh, this area here. So the ultimate highs of uh, uh, 3.1170 are the as high as this market most likely will go. Uh, the lowest um, we can measure around this area here. We can see that this has also been significant support and all of this area here uh, in the past. So at this moment, I'm, I would basically guess that we are going to trade in between this range of uh, 2.9 and 1.3.1. Um, entering this market at the moment, probably not a good idea. If we have a major pullback back to the 15 moving average, then uh, that is a buying opportunity. At the moment, we're just in the middle of this range. Um, we can break through the downside. We can also continue to the upside. If we get really close to this uh, resistant level here uh, and we have a bad candlestick and that's showing down then that's probably a good trade for uh, for uh, for this uh, for until the uh, 50 moving average so if you look at the technical indicators uh, stochastic is quite um, bullish uh, rsi is technically flat and the macd is showing sign of probably crossing the signal line um, tomorrow or or uh, on Friday, and that will will uh, boost this market higher. So if you look at gold, so gold had uh, had a uh, quite a big pullback early in the trading session. It it rallied, and at this moment, it looks like we are going to um, going to test this 50 moving average. Um, it seems like as well as uh, 1900 is quite a significant uh, resistant. Um, however, if we will break through this area here, we'll go to the 50 moving average. And uh, if we break the 50 moving average, then we'll go much higher than that. We have 
we're still in this. Um, oh, sorry. There, we're still in this triangle that we have tried to break through for for a quite a long time. Um, it looks like we're going up towards this uh, uh, this resistance line, and we technically need to break the resistance line and the 50 moving average in order to go higher. Um, we'll probably see a lot of choppiness going slowly up here and then down, and then we'll see whether or not we break to the upside or break to the downside. Um, it also depends on the US dollar, whether or not it depreciates or uh, depreciates or appreciates. It's, if it appreciates, uh, then this market will go lower. If it depreciates, it, uh, it will go higher. Um, so at this moment, it's technically wait to see. Technical indicators are uh, favorable to the upside at the moment. We can see that stochastic has uh, is showing bullish momentum. We're about to cross the signal line for the MACD, indicating also bullish momentum. And at the moment, the RSI is quite flat. So if you look at silver, uh, very similar here to, to gold, we, uh, we are most likely going to test this uh, 50 moving average. And um, if we break through that, then we'll go to this level at the 2700. Um, if we get rejected, we may fall, fall all the way down to $20 or this 200 moving average. Um, at the moment, we are basically trading in the middle. Uh, this is a very risky trade to enter at this moment because we can run into massive resistance at the 50 moving average and then just completely collapse. So. Um, if we do have another collapse towards the uh, 200 moving average, then that is an amazing uh, entry point for uh, long for silver. The technical indicators are fairly uh, are fairly bullish. Um, at least the uh, stochastic is fairly bullish, uh, uh, and the MACD is about to cross the signal probably tomorrow or on Friday, uh, and that will basically boost this market up towards the 15 moving average. If we get rejected, we'll go lower. If we can uh, cross through the 15 moving average, and then we'll go to these levels here. So if you look at uh, Ekokoa, so we have broken down again. So we just trading technically sideways at the moment. Uh, will catch up with the 50 moving average within a few trading days, and that will tell us whether or not we go higher or will go lower. The technical indicators are very bearish at this point. Uh, MACD is quite far away from the signal line, and the casting is pointing downwards, and so go, and so is the RSI. So, uh, but we have been here several times uh, recently. We can put a, a horizontal line here. This has proven to be significant support to this area. And what will most likely happen is that we'll trade sideways. The 50 moving average will come this way and then we'll pop to the upside or pop to the downside. Uh, having in mind that the 200 moving average is also underneath. So I, I am, have no intentions of selling in this market. We're still in a uptrend at this point at this point. And um, I do expect us to go higher. Um, we just need the signal in order to be certain that we are going higher. So we look at Platinum. So Platinum has rallied significantly. Uh, and we are probably going to test the 50 moving average. Probably not today, but in tomorrow's or definitely Friday session, we are going to test the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are very bullish. Take a look at the stochastic and the RSI and the MACD is about to cross the signal line. If we break through the 15 week average, then we'll go to these levels here around 1950, and then we'll go to the all time highs at 1000. Breaking down from here, we have the 200 moving average underneath, which will be uh, supportive. And then we have all of this area here. We can basically draw it up. 
this entire area here, which will be support. And underneath that, we also have this area here, which will be support. So no interest in, 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 in shorting this market. There's way too much support underneath. Um, it is just a matter of time before we just gradually go higher in this market. So last of least, it is sugar. So we have broken down uh, a little bit, but we have rallied again. Um, we did have a really nice rally when it got close to the 50 moving average. So this technically means that the 50 moving average is significant support. And it also means every single time that we get close to the 50 moving average, we have an entry uh, for, uh, for buying in this market. We can see in the past, 50 moving average has been uh, quite significant support. We did break underneath the 50 moving average here, but we didn't get that far. So, so uh, we can write a, a support line here that this area has proven to be uh, quite supportive. If we break through there, then this area down here will be, um, be support. But at this moment, we are in an uptrend and uh, there is no point in shorting this market. Just uh, buying the dips uh, is probably the best strategy. We can also ride a, quite a significant trend line here, which also uh, will be significant support. If we break through the 50 moving average, we have the 200 moving average right here. And then we also have this support line here plus this support line. So. This is buying a dips um, uh, scenario, and and yes, so uh, you're welcome to support our channel. If you like these videos, uh, hit the like button and uh, and subscribe button and the bell button, and please share the videos if you would like. Uh, good luck and thank you very much.